our design is built, tested, fit, and rooted. So now we're ready to move on to the final stage of the design flow, programming. In this brief screencast, I'll be showing you how to use Quartus's programmer to write your design to the Max 10 device on the DE10 Lite board. Programming the board involves taking raw information about our design's logic, its pin assignments, voltage information, etc., and writing it directly to the chip. The generation of the file containing this information is one of the final stages of compilation. Therefore, you need to make sure that a full compile has taken place following your last edit and save. Otherwise, you'll just end up writing old, buggy versions of your circuit to the chip and wonder why it's still not working. You'll know if everything is up to date as all compilation stages in the tasks pane of Quartus will have a nice green tick next to them, meaning that we're ready to program. Double-click Program Device here to open the programmer. Now, as with just about everything that we've used in Quarter so far, the programmer has a load of features and options which we simply won't be using and would be way outside the scope of this module to explain. For all intents and purposes, the programmer should be relatively pre-configured when you start it up, but there are a couple of things to check and maybe one or two adjustments to be made. Firstly, the programmer should have pulled our device information from Quartus, and the correct chip should be displayed in the window here. You must double check that this is correct, because if not, it likely means that you've selected the wrong device for your project and all of your fitting and routing information will be designed for a completely different architecture. In other words, nothing will program or run, so make sure that the chip model number here reflects the one on the DE10 light board. The next thing to do is set up the programmer's hardware, and we can do this using the hardware setup menu at the top. In order to program the FPGA chip, we connect a USB cable between our PC and the board, but what are we actually plugging into there? Well, the board contains a sub-circuit called a USB blaster, which involves a USB socket, a relatively large Max 2 CPLD device, and some additional circuitry. The main purpose of the USB blaster is to act as a converter between the byte stream from the software programmer and the raw signals required to set our Max 10 chip into programming mode and rewrite the SRAM on board with our new circuit. So within our hardware setup menu, we need to select USB blaster as the hardware to program the chip. The programming information is generated by Quartus as a file with the extension .sof, which stands for SRAM object file. A SOF contains the raw binary information relating to the configuration of the individual elements on the device, which is written by the USB blaster to the FPGA chip. The programmer should automatically pick up the project's latest SOF as the file to be programmed. If not, it can be found in the output file subfolder of the project directory. If it doesn't exist there, I'd imagine you haven't actually compiled everything properly. So now that everything's set up, all that's left to do is hit start to program the chip. There's a progress bar on the top right which will turn green if everything's gone fine and display a fail message if anything's gone wrong. Remember, a green light doesn't mean that your design works correctly, only that what you've designed has been successfully programmed on the device. In the handbook, there are a couple of key troubleshooting tips just in case you have any issues here. So if your programming fails, have a look there and see if there's anything that can help you.